Good evening, dear ladies. Happy Hanukkah, Bezrat Hashem. Boy, lechen Hanukkah, Bezrat Hashem. And I would like to, this is the night of the fifth day of Hanukkah. So Bezrat Hashem, let's bless. Million dollars. Bezrat Hashem, let's bless. That we will all have the zechut to greet Mashiach Tzitzel Barachamim Gvurim Gvurim B'Merah B'Yameinu Amen. Eliyahu Nabi Eliyahu Tishbi Eliyahu Giladi B'Merah Adonu Mashiach Tavid Eliyahu Zechur Lato. We will all have the zechut to see the building of Beit Hamikdash at Shibi B'Merah B'Yameinu Amen. Ki Ayin Be'Ayin Nuru B'Shuv Adonai Tzion. Ata Takum Terachem Tzion Ki Et Lechalena Ki Ba Moed. Hashibenu Adonai Lechem Nashuv Achadesh Amenu Kekedem. And we all have Bezrat Hashem. The schut to go to the land of Israel on the wings of eagle, and when we all have part in Eretz Yisrael. B'shem Hashem naseh v'natzliach. En od mi kado Hashem spatchai tiftach ufi agiti ilatecha. And everything that we are doing is b'shem kol Yisrael. That shiur is leilu nishmat all of the souls that were murdered viciously by the terrorists. Me'ashem revenge ve'avlad aleim shalom tinishmatom. תינש ודם צורה בצורה חיים, and for all of the soldiers, עליהם השלום, תינש ודם צורה בצורה חיים, השם יקום דמם, השם הוא ריבנג' ואפלד, לעילוי נשמת נלי בת זינה זילפה עליה, שלום תינש ודם צורה בצורה חיים, לעילוי נשמת. אברום אבוש בן משה, עליו השלום, תינש ודם צורה בצורה חיים. ריקי מטל בת אברהם אבוש, עליה שלום תקשור צורך חיים. משה חי בן רב יונתן. יעקב בן משה אליהו, משה חי מלא מה שלום תקשור צורך חיים. ולמייקל עליו השלום תקשור צורך חיים. I don't know his mother's name, but בן שרה. Okay, the name is Bezrat Hashem, and it's for Refua Shlema for all the women. Refua Shlema, and Bezrat Hashem, that all of the captured Hashem will bring them back now with us, healthy, mentally and physically, Bezrat Hashem. And Besiyat Adishmei Amei Hashem, protect our soldiers, shilchu l'shalom v'yachzeru l'shalom. So now we're going to start, ladies, I'm reminding you that We're recording, and please, let's be quiet so others can also enjoy the show. Okay, so now, first of all, we are tomorrow night. This is Erev Rosh Chodesh. It's not only Hanukkah, it's the eve of Rosh Chodesh already. And tomorrow night is Rosh Chodesh Tevet. And look how beautiful it is. Every, every Rosh Chodesh, we say only part, partial part of the, of the Halel. We say only partial part of every Rosh Chodesh, except for Tevet. Except for the month of Tevet, we say the whole Halev. So how can we, so first of all, it falls of Hanukkah, but there's a reason for this. All of the first days of the month were supposed to be festivals. You know, the women have a schut not to work on Rosh Chodesh. You know that? It's a custom for women that they take it easy on Rosh Chodesh. And why? Because all of the first days of the month were supposed to be a festival, Yamim Tovim, but because we sinned with a golden cloth, with Chet Egel, with a golden cloth, because of this, we only say partial part of the Halel on Rosh Chodesh. But because it was the men that sinned and not the women, you remember Arona Cohen told them to take off all of the jewelry, to ask their wives to take the jewelry off, and they didn't agree the wives. So the men themselves brought their jewelry that they had and gave it to our own queen. So because of that, we have a privilege of Rosh Chodesh. And we are renewed every, every Chodesh when we go to the Mikveh Baruch Hashem. We are like a new human being, a newborn of the Siyat Nishman. We have this chut. But what's the difference? Tevet, we know. Tevet starts, Yud Bet Tevet, the fast of Yud Bet Tevet. Oh, the siege of Yerushalayim started. So how come Dabka, the first day of the month of Tevet, is a festival and not only that? Omer Aben Ishchai, he says a beautiful thing. He says we should light a candle for Rabbi Mir Balanes on the first day of, of Tevet, which means tomorrow night, on Wednesday. So uh, tomorrow night, Tuesday night, is already the first day of the month of Tevet. It's the night of the first day of the month of Tevet. So to light a candle for Rabbi Mir Balanes and in the merit of Hanukkah and the Hashmonaim, and the Maccabim, they are listening to you over there. <laughs> If you have something to share, you're going to share it with me. So because, because we see 
that this is Bruchaba, welcome. Baruch Hashem. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, dear ladies. So, uh, Aben Yishchai says to light the candle for Abimir tomorrow night. We light the candle for Abimir Balanis. And we light the candle. And we light a candle also for Abraham Avinu, because Abraham Avinu, your site, is on the first day of the month of Tevet. So tomorrow night we light not only a candle for Rosh Chodesh, for the first day of the month, but also for Rabbi Mir Balanes and, and Abraham Avinu, okay? And we ask for, and this is very important, we ask from Abraham Avinu, because Abraham Avinu had two main sons, Yitzchak and Ishmael. We ask from him that he will be good advocates from the school. It's Hak's children to finish this. That we uh, that all of this, uh, all of these problems that we have with uh, with with our other, with uh, with his other son Ishmael Bezat Hashem, and may Hashem have mercy upon us and, and the whole world. So, girls, I would like to say something. So, why do we say the whole Alel on the first day of the month of Tevet? So. One reason, it's in Hanukkah. In Hanukkah, we say the whole Alev. Even on Pesach, we don't say. Pesach, we don't, only stay on the first day and outside the, in the land of Israel and outside the land of Israel, the, the two first days of Pesach. And, uh, and during the Chola Moed, the intermediate days, we say only po a portion of the Alev. But Hanukkah, eight days we say the Alev. So the merit of the Hashmonaim, that you remember Moshe Rabbeinu after the, he went down with the tablets and he saw that we that, the, that we sinned with a golden calf. He took the tablets and he broke them. And he said, Mila Hashem Eli, who is to, to Hashem to me? The same thing the Maccabim and Hashemonaim said. Because the, the tribe of Levi did not sin in that sin. So what happens is because of their merit, we are allowed to say the whole Hallel on the first day of the month of Tevi, in the merit of the, of the tribe of Levi. Because Ahashmonaim and Maccabim are from a Kohanim, but the Kohanim, the priests, are part of the tribe of Levi, the Levites. So because they didn't sin in the sin of the golden calf, we have the merit, the Siyat Adishmaya, Baruch Hashem, to say the whole Hallel on the first day of the month of Hallel, uh, the month of Tevet, which is a big thing. So dear, dear ladies, uh, this is every time I give you the, the combination of the name of Hashem for the month for the month that is coming. So to, it's Wednesday, Wednesday morning when we say Shacharit and Musaf Shel Rosh Chodesh, okay? And don't forget to, to say Alamisim Bechule and everything that we add. We need to concentrate in the middle of the Musaf. We say, Baruch Atah Hashem, Mekadesh Yisrael Barashem Kodashim, Blessed are you Hashem that sanctifies the children of Israel on the first days of the month. When we say Baruch Atah Hashem, we pose, we just visualize, we don't say it out of our mouth, we visualize the, the combination of the name of Hashem for that month. And with this, we open all of the gates of all of the channels of marriages, health, mentally and physically, Parnassa wise, which means income, everything, righteous children, easy pregnancies, easy births, everything Bezat Hashem. So the name of Hashem for the month of Tevet comes from the Hashem Mitiun of Mamashmo, which means that Hashem with me and we will praise His name. So the ending letter, so this is a, this is a Hei La Hashem, I'm writing Kuf, okay, because I can't write here the Hei. And then we have the Yud, and then we have another Hei, and then we have the Vav. This is a combination of the name of Hashem for the month of Tevesh. This is the name of Hashem of mercy. And the name of Hashem of repenting, Shuba, is the combination is the, uh, the letter He, and then the, I'm writing Kuf because I need to wipe the board after that. If I write the name, I can't write the, yeah. wipe the board. Okay? So the letter He is Kuf. Uh, I mean He, and then we have the letter Aleph, and then we have again 
the letter A, and then we have the letter U. This is the name, the two names of Hashem. When we say Musaf Shalosh Kodesh on Wednesday, we just visualize the combination of the name of Hashem, and by this we open all of the channels of income, marriages, children, peace, a victory, everything, not only for us and our families, but for Klal Israel and the whole world, Bezrat Hashem. Okay? This is about the month of Tevi. So, so now we're going back to Parashat Miketz, and always Parashat Vayeshev and Miketz are around Hanukkah. The week of Hanukkah, inside Hanukkah, always. So Parashat Miketz, we learn that that Yosef HaTzadik, Hashem takes him out, Baruch Haba, takes him out, out from the pit that he is, the jail that he's in in Egypt, and from here he becomes the right hand of Pharaoh. And by him, everything happens in Egypt. Can you imagine? From, I want you to think about it. From the bottom, if we fall and we feel and that, okay, we are in, the, in despair, and, the, and we feel we don't even find the way out. We mamash feel this is the fifth candle of Hanukkah. The fifth candle of Hanukkah, the Lubavitcher Rebbe used to say, that never falls on Shabbat. Never falls on Shabbat. This symbolizes darkness, that it never falls on Shabbat. Choshet. Never on Shabbat. But this is what is beautiful about this. That the ability of the fifth candle of Hanukkah is to take us from all the dark places that we are in. And even if we have suffering that we can't find the way out of them, like Yosef and Sadiq. But this fifth candle of Hanukkah, the light of the fifth candle of Hanukkah can take us out of this stair. Can you, can you understand this? Mamash, look at Yosef and Sadiq. Yosef and Sadiq was in jail, in the Egyptian jail, for 12 years. Ten years he was to be, supposed to be. Then he told Sarah Mashkim, the minister of, of, of the drinks, he told him, okay, now you're going out of prison, don't forget me. Twice he said, remember me and don't forget me. Because of these two words, Hashem gave him two, month, uh, two years. Added two years for him in the prison, in the Egyptian prison. Can you imagine? So Hashem, why? Because he should have showed confidence in Hashem, not trusted a human being. So, what did Yosef HaTzadik do in the jail, in the prison over there? You can imagine, that this is a not a, not Israeli prison. This is an, an Arab country prison. Okay, so Yosef HaTzadik, Rashi says, was dancing inside the prison, and he was happy. Somebody from the sign will say he's, he, his skin became a cuckoo. <laughs> Ken, you know. Ten years and then addition of two years and he's dancing. Something is not right. But he was dancing because he knew he called David Rahman Aletavavid that everything that Hashem does is for good. And even though we don't understand, because we don't see, we are part of the picture. You see, for example, if there's a picture over here, we are dot in the picture. We don't see the whole picture. But the person who stands from the outside, he sees the whole picture. So he knows where this dot needs to go in order to complete the fixing. We do not know that. But Hashem does. He's, he looks at everything. Hashem is in this world and he's out of this world. Everything. Everything is Hashem. And Hashem is everything and everything is Hashem. So he sees everything. He, he's mamash, up, all of him, all over. He's inside us, all of us. Everything you see the table, even this has the essence of Hashem. Everything that you see around you. We saw this, all of us. We all been then saw it when we went out of Egypt. All of us saw this. So we see that we can light the darkness, the Siata Vishmaya, lock the, di the darkness with the kindling, the candles of Hanukkah, especially the fifth day of Hanukkah. That even a person that is far away from Hashem, can, Hashem can kindle his soul, light his soul, and bring him back the Chazara to, to Hashem, to know Hashem. So it's written, Yeshayahu the Prophet says, Shalom Shaboreni Tzfatayim, Shalom Shalom L'Archuk V'L'Karov, Amar Hashem Rufati, Peace, peace for the one that is far and the one that is near, Hashem says, I will heal him. 
know that the biggest tzedakah, the biggest charity that we can do, especially in our days, is there's dark, the spiritual darkness in our days. Today, the plague in our days is a mental plague. Mamash, ma mental, it's not physical plague, it's a mental plague. People get confused because they are not connected to Hashem. They are not connected to God. They get all these ideas and theories that, are, that they forget where they come from and where they're going to. Because all of us, we came, our neshama, our soul, came, came from heaven, from Hashem, and we're going back. To Hashem, and we're going back to stand in front of the of the court of heaven, all of us. So we see over here that even the ones that are far and far from Hashem, Hashem brings them closer to Him. And it says, you know, King David wrote a lot of prayers, but one of them in chapter 102, he wrote, So this is what we need to do. Next to the candles. That a prayer to, for, a, for a poor person. And it says, which means that he pours his heart in front of Hashem. And when a person does this, when a person does this, know that the moment that we speak to Hashem, Hashem stops everything in heaven. And he says, well, my daughter is speaking to me. No decree can come to this earth. So if we 24-7 will speak to Hashem, each and every one of us, everything that we do, we speak, like we speak to a friend, Hashem, look, Bezat Hashem, please help me to find the parking, please see that I, when I go to the store, that I won't forget anything and I don't have to go again. Hashem, please give me Yiddish Hasidish from all my children. Hashem, see that everybody will get married. Like I bless myself, I want all of the of humanity to be to be blessed. That everybody will know Hashem, will know God, will want to be to come closer to God. Because the more we come closer, the more we are deservable of the term human being. Once we come far from Hashem. And we don't remember where we came through and when we, where we're going to, shalom edah. Then we are not deservable of the term human being because we are just like an animal in the clothing of a human being. So we see over here, and only this tefillah of a poor person immediately is answered. Immediately. How do we answer this? So first of all, know that poor, to be poor, en ani, en, be en ani ela ani midat which means, and this is the, the, the plague of this, of this generation. What does it mean, en ani ela nimidat? Which means that a poor person is a person that doesn't know Hashem, doesn't know God. Doesn't know, doesn't understand where he comes from, what he's doing in this world, why did he come to this world? We didn't come to eat, to drink, uh, because the animals also eat, drink, reproduce, and have waste. They do the same thing. What, how are we elevated? We have the freedom of choice. We have speech to communicate and to build and create things together. So know that when we do charity, and especially on Hanukkah, and we light and kindle other souls, and this is what Hanukkah tells us, because we take the candles, we take the menorah and put it outside in order, to, and we light the menorah after the stars appear from sunset until the stars appear. Mm -hmm. So why do we do that? In order to kindle, to light the darkness. The dark, it's not the physical darkness, it's the spiritual darkness that we're in. That everyone will see and remember who we are, where did we come from, what is our mm -hmm. history, Besiyat mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this is what we are doing. And furthermore, dear ladies, we see the shamash, we use the shamash in order to light all of the candles. And pay attention, all of the candles are in one line, are even, the same height, as, except for the shamash. The shamash is higher. So, dear ladies, as mothers, okay, as mothers, and uh, we are, all of us, we are the mothers of the home, we are the high priest of the home. The, the husband is the head of the house but the wife is the neck. And where the neck goes, the head goes. Okay? <laughs> the wisdom of a woman builds a home. The wisdom of a woman, why? Because a man is built from the, the measure of, of wisdom. 
but the women of the from the measure of understanding we we can do we are mm -hmm. we are multiple tasks human beings women men they are in a box they do one thing but we do everything at the same time we can cook we can bake we can speak on the phone we can look at the children we can put laundry we can put it in the dryer we can do everything at the same time baruch hashem this is a woman this is the beauty of a woman Hashem built us from the measure of Bina, of understanding. We understand one thing from the other. So we, what do we do? We are the Shamash. We are the Shamash of the Hanukkiah, of the Menorah. Us, because we serve everybody at home. We serve everyone at home. This Mamash, literally, this is what we do. We are the psychologists at home. We are the teacher, we are the email, we are the friend, we, we are the ones that go and do the shopping, most of us go and do the shopping, we bake, we cook, we are the servant of the home. We are the shamash, we kindle the souls of our children. We sit down and read Tehillim, Perek Shira, Shira Shirim. We do everything we can in order to elevate our children to, uh, to be closer to Hashem. So now, dear ladies, we have a big role. You see that you did, and also the daughter of Yohanan Kohen. So we see that they they help the children of Israel. That's why we have a part in this in this miracle of Hanukkah, because they gave you did gave the the general the the Roman um, the Greek general. She gave him to eat dairy food, and made it, and then gave him to drink wine, and after that. After he became drunk and he slept, she cut off his head. And with this, she came back to Jerusalem, to Jerusalem. And the children of Israel had a big, victorious uh, uh, part. So, dear ladies, Bezrat Hashem, we are going and we are going to bless everyone that we will all have the schut to greet Mashiach. Amen. 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 יחיד ורבים הלכה כרבים. בעזרת השם, אכן הוא כל בית ישראל, הנתונים בצרה ובשפיעה, עומדים בין בים ובין ביבשה, המקום ירחם עליהם, ויוצא מצרה לרווחה, ומאפלה לאור המשיבות לגאולה, השתה באגלה בזמן קריב, אמרו אמן! אתה יכול לסגור את זה? אתה יכול לסגור את זה?